those early days of the internet when we called it the information superhighway? Back then, the internet was part of a new but growing trend. What do President Clinton, conservative radio personality Rush Limbaugh, and rock star Billy Idol have in common? They've all got electronic mail addresses on computer systems linked to the internet, a global hookup that permits computers to exchange information. In 1981, only 213 computers were hooked to the Internet. As the new year begins, an estimated 2.5 million computers will be on the network, serving as many as 20 million people. Almost 2001, and the technologies that bring us telephones, TV, and computers are merging. Five years from now, we're not going to have distinct cable and telephone industries. There's going to be one industry, and there'll be companies carrying bits, little pieces of information from point A to point B. Give me the university research network. A promotional video put out five years ago by Apple Computer envisioned people talking to computer terminals and to one another through video phone links by the year 2010. Hi, Mike. What's up? It's already coming true. In Cerritos, California, video phone service is part of an experiment started by General Telephone and the local cable company. There are also interactive TV channels where people order movies on demand instead of driving to the local video store. High schoolers can get practice questions for the Scholastic Aptitude Test. These new services add about $10 a month to the average cable TV bill. George Lewis, NBC News, Los Angeles.